we can't have Funding Jim on the show and not bring up the Richard Hart uh, tweet, the Richard Hart tweet, uh, major update. He says, PulseChain.com and PulseX.com news, .com news. The EBS volumes are warming up. The Block Explorer is 95% done sinking. Though it's been sitting at 95% for a good while and PulseX is deployed, AMM ratio repair hasn't been run yet. Can't wait till it's public. So first of all, what's your immediate reaction to the update? Uh, well, I mean, the price is reflecting uh, on Hex. This tweet, this tweet uh, timing, uh, it's about a penny movement uh, up because of maybe the tweet. Um, maybe just synchronous, uh, uh, coincidental. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then as far as like, the, he's giving more detail than he has in eight months, right? The past week has been a lot more detail. And so, and they, and they also, they also have like, they're not talking block height and here's the, the, the launch time for the, the test net. But he sure uses a lot of references to length of time. Um, like even in that one, he says long while for a good long while um, uh, has been running. I can't wait. Wait is another time reference. Like he has time references that he would have avoided in the past. Final test net. I saw this other thing to be clear. Talking about final test net before main net. Yeah. And it's just positive, just in positive. I think it's, I think, I think that, if you're gonna speculate on price, the, the the when you get an alert from the Twitter account for Richard, maybe that's not gonna be as much of an impact on price as when you get an alert from his YouTube channel. When you get an alert from his YouTube channel, he hasn't streamed from the castle in like a year, right? But when you see Something coming from that studio, <laughs> I, I bet price moves. I bet well, it's already moved, and and yeah, I would agree. It would move a lot more. And now, shout out to the Pulse Tube, uh, great work, and thank you for listening. Shout out Pulse Tube, we love the Pulse Tube. Go to the Pulse Tube.com. So uh, now, interesting. So we had following. So we had following that. Well, first of all. My follow-up question was, you did express, uh, you know, a little frustration that, you know, there wasn't enough uh, updates and things like that. And then really shortly thereafter, Richard Hart started really coming at it with those regular updates. So are you satisfied with the updates? Uh, has it been up to your uh, standard? And uh, do you think well, you uh, it was listening to you? If you look at his tweets before the updates, really, about the things that people care to see tweets from Richard... You saw that his engagement was falling off significantly uh, after like the first five or six months of outrage marketing and, you know, shopaholic while waiting for developers to create this thing. You started to see that when he would make a post, it would take longer to get to the same thresholds of likes, retweets, comments, things like that. Right. And you saw him experiment also for about a month where he would make a tweet, but nobody except for people he was following could retweet or make comment, right? So he was limiting even his engagement then. Then you saw that, uh, you know, this pivot or rotation, you know, to no longer be stale product uh, toward the, here's my origin story. You can't separate me from my culture. Like, you know, I am, it is my culture, right? Here is my, you know, the truth of, of uh, when he went on, Fresh and fit and things like that, where people were saying, you know, that he was um, what do they call that phrase, mimicking or something like that. I forgot what the phrase was uh, on his language, right? Oh yeah, but uh, th that's that's his origin. Like that's that's part of his or origin culture. So like, um, yeah, it's 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 really good. It's great marketing. I see it in the trending. I see it where people can't ignore it. That have you know nothing else to talk about it in a bear market. What else can they talk about but Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X? Now they can talk about, uh, even R Richard gave props to Bitcoin getting a 20-something percent uh, rise today, uh, you know, or whatever it was, or in you know, the past two days, from 21, 20,000 to like 25,000 now. So like, I can see 
some good things. And then you saw the number 271 wallet for Bitcoin had uh, staked. They staked beyond the auto stake. So they went actually three years out. So it wasn't just the auto stake like a lot of Bitcoiners did. Um, they, were, they stuck for an actual three years. And then that ROI, knowing that it's going to be published on Hex Whale or the whale, the whale things, actually, I think it was probably a marketing reason why it sold. Like could have restaked and maybe there had been a positive narrative around that, but like proof that it could be capital that was basically free. Richard has in the past, privately at least, said how frustrated and annoyed and angry he was that Bitcoin people didn't praise two years or three years into Hex's performance, the free money that they got, right? No, none of the OG. And again, I, I, I love Hex and Hexicons, but I still don't think that in 2019 we represented 3% of all Bitcoin. I, I don't think that the people that actually bought into this new launch product and even if they didn't buy, even if they just basically free claimed, I don't think that our community in 2019 represented 3% of all Bitcoin. That's just opinion. So okay. like, we would like to have gotten more praise. And I think that the freebie in 2019 was Bitcoiners. The freebie in 2023 is Ethereans. And the freebie in the future will be a new community, which is who do you want to get the economic attention from? Hexagons. Like Bitcoin first. Ethereum is the giveaway of 2023 with the fork and the duplication of your tokens and, and NFTs and contracts. But like I can see in 2025, 26, uh, you know, the, the economic energy you want the attention from is hexagons. Yeah, I, I could see. I don't know if there's going to be another freebie because I think Hex will be number one very soon. So we won't have they'll have to come to us. We won't have to come to them. But uh, we'll see. It could be there will be another freebie.